yellow. Yellow. Today I made Simon in Minecraft, and I've actually gotten pretty good at it. I could probably go on a lot longer, but I'm just going to cut it short so I can explain how all this works. I'll just lose by hitting the wrong color. I lost. The arms of the angel. Anyway, the way that these work is that actually in front of each of these, there's a slime, so that when I hit it, there's blue, yellow, green, and red. When I hit them, they will do damage. And there's command blocks over here waiting for the slimes to take damage. And when they do, they're going to, if it's either A, we are playing the round, or B, it is just being the pattern, like it's showing you after you do something. It's either going to test if you hit the right thing. So let's just start a new round. It wants me to hit green first, so I'm just going to hit green. There's a armor stand over here waiting so that if you hit green, he's going to make sure that the block next to him is a green wool block. If it is, it's going to allow you to keep going. But if it's not, like it's any other color, red, yellow, or blue, it's going to say that I lost. If it is, he's going to get sent one block forward. And he's going to keep doing that. So we can just see right here, he was moved forward. Now there's a red block. And he's going to keep moving forward until he detects that there's no wool block by his side. He's going to repeat the pattern and add on a new block to the end. The way the block is added on to the end is there's an armor stand over here. I'm using the spread players command, which randomly spreads players around a certain region. I'm spreading this armor stand around this thing so that there's only four blocks he can go on. The colored wool, red, blue, yellow, and green. And he takes the block that's below him and clones it to the end of this pattern so that the pattern is longer every time and it is randomly increased every time. But if we did this pattern, which is currently red, green, red, red, sorry. Green, hit the wrong color. Oh well. Well, that just shows that when there's the wrong color, he actually gets sent back to the beginning and it essentially does the same thing that the reset button does. It sends him to the beginning and clears it, except the reset button just restarts it. So. You can do green, we can see him getting moved along. And then you can see him adding the extra block, which is now yellow. So you can go green, he checks it's right. And moves forward, yellow, and adds on a new block after repeating the pattern. The way the pattern is repeated is he is over here. There is basically like a loop. There is a pulse that's sent through these blocks, and it goes around a circle. However, there's actually a piston right here, which tests if there's wool on his side. He gets moved along, if he gets like right here at this point, He's going to say that there's no wool next to him, which means that the pattern needs to get longer and he's going to add an extra block. And after he does that, the loop's going to stop. But if there's not, he's going to keep looping through and he's just going to test if it's um, yellow, green, I'm not sure. I forgot what numbers are which. He's just going to test what color's next to him and he's going to light them up and play the sounds. Each button has their own sounds, which makes it easier to memorize. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.